God is so good. Go with me to. I'm going to see if I have to even go back and mess with this. It's, uh, let's just go with me, Praise God. John. Chapter. John chapter 4. Amen. 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 I'm going to hit this video. I got I to go somewhere else. Amen. Praise God. For those that was here the last time, amen, can somebody tell me what is the meat of God? The word of God. The who? The word. The word of God. What's somebody say? The will of God. The will of God. Oh, now I got to go back to it. Amen. Amen. Let's go. John chapter 4. And you may have your seats in the presence of the Lord because we just want to be all over the place. Amen. Praise God. Good to be back. How many enjoyed Valentine's? Good to see y'all. We got a visitor here today. Amen. What, what was she saying? <laughs> 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 oh, my brother. <laughs> amen. Praise God. But amen. We got to come against amen. There's a lot of folks sitting. You know, yes. and we bind that yes. in the name of Jesus. We got, we got text messages and calls from everybody. I'm like, the devil is a lie. Amen. He is a lie. You amen. Right. amen. Praise God. But we going to have church anyway. Yes, amen. Sir. Amen. amen. Praise God. It says, amen, praise God. There cometh in verse 7 amen. of chapter 4, a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, give me to drink. For his disciples were going away into the city to buy meat. Amen? Yes. Are y'all with me? Yes, yes, sir. Jump over to verse, verse 25. So they went to go do what? Buy meat. Yes. And the woman said unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, I speak unto I that speak unto thee am he. And upon this came his disciples and marveled that he talked with the woman. Yet no man said, What seekest thou, or why talkest thou with her? The woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and said to the man, Come see it, man, which told me all the things I ever did is not this the Christ. Then they went out of the city and came to him. And in the mean, and in the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. Eat what? Meat. Eat. But he said, I have meat to eat, ye know not of. Amen. Amen. Focusing on that right quick. He said, I have meat to eat. Uh -huh. Are y'all with me? Yeah. And, and this is what we talked about last time. You know, the kingdom of God is not meat. Or drink, but we this new message today that we're hearing in the pulpits is the kingdom of God is me. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, somebody, y'all, y'all, help me up in here. Come on. So he said, the kingdom. He said, I have meat to eat that you know not of. So Jesus is talking about some other type of meat uh -huh. to eat. Amen. Yeah. Watch this. Then he said, therefore his disciples, his disciples. What therefore said the disciple one to another, have any man brought him up to eat? They still didn't have a revelation of what he was saying. Mm -hmm. Because they still talk about regular meat. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto them, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me mm -hmm. and to finish his work. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 But God began to show me you can't eat his meat before the work. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, you got the work to eat. Woo, yes. Come on, somebody. Oh, yes. Y'all yes. better help me up in here. But, but, but this type of work doesn't require you to do anything. Uh -huh. It's just a confession and believing. Uh -huh. We're going to find that out. Amen. But you got to work first and then meat follow. Because the meat is his will. Come yes. on, somebody. Yes. But you can't do his will without the work first. Oh, man, it's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. 
Come with me to John. Stay with John. Yes, sir. John chapter 6. Are you there? Amen. Verse 24. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum seeking for Jesus. You know, this is key that we get this because we, we, we found out in Galatians, amen, and I don't want to go back there for the sake of time, but this thing on me, another, another what? Gospel. Gospel. Another what? Gospel. And another what? Christ. And another what? Spirit. Another gospel being preached. Another Jesus is being received. Come on, somebody. Yes, and yes. another Jesus is being preached. Another gospel yes. is being preached. And another yes. spirit is being received. Why? Because of this right here. Yes. Yes. Oh, y'all better help me. Yes. And any time you add to what Christ has done, mm -hmm. watch this. Christ said, my meat is to do the will of the Father and to finish his what? Word. What did he say at the cross? It is what? Finish. Who finished it? Christ did. Watch this. Yes, did. John chapter 6 verse 24. When the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum seeking for Jesus. And when they had found him, on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, You seek me. Man, now this is good. You seek me because, because you what? Yeah. Saw miracles. Mm -hmm. And because you did what? Eat of the Lord. And were what? Eat you got folks seeking God because of something they saw. Or something they come on somebody. somebody seeking God for the wrong things. Come on. Right, yeah. Seek the kingdom of God. And man, how many times have y'all heard this sermon? Uh, it's, but seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added unto you. Now my focus is on things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in order to get these things, I must seek the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. It's a deception. Watch this. Because what did Jesus say? Labor not for the meat which perish, uh -huh. but for the meat which endure unto everlasting life, mm. which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him have God the Father sealed. Mm. The meat is the will of God. Yes. He said labor for that meat, not perishing meat, mm -hmm. but labor for that meat that endureth unto everlasting mm -hmm. life. Are y'all with me? Yes. Then watch this. They said, then they turned, they flipped it on him. Then said they unto him, what shall we do that we might work the works of God? Mm -hmm. Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. Amen. So I want to call from that. He said, this is the work of God. Is the believer who? Jesus. You don't have to do anything. Come on, come on, me to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Chapter 2, verse 8. Are you there? Amen. Amen. For by grace, somebody say grace. Grace. Are ye saved through what? Faith. Faith. That is not of yourselves. It is what? The gift of God. Not of what? Works. Lest any man should what? Both. Both. Salvation is great. Grace is salvation. Come on, sir. Grace, salvation is given freely. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus did the work for you to be saved. Yeah. Are y'all with me? Amen. I know this sounds elementary, but this is really actually 
the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Yes. Amen. Repentance from dead works, faith towards God. That's salvation first. Yes. That's the foundation. Amen. Hebrews chapter 6 talks about uh, the six principles of God. Repentance from dead works, faith towards God, the laying on hand, doctrine of baptisms, re uh, doctrine, the resurrection from the dead, and eternal judgment. That is the foundation of a Christian's walk. Mm -hmm. Amen. If he don't have that, you can't build upon it. Amen. And we taught on that. But what I'm trying to say is anything added to what Christ has done, that's another gospel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you are, you are saved. You are secured. Amen. Because you believe in de the burial, the, the, the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. You saved. Yes. Are y'all with me? Amen, sir. But here's the dilemma that sin. We have to be careful how we teach this. Because you got folks saying, you're not saved if you don't do a certain thing. Mm -hmm. Come on, sir. Mm -hmm. Somebody help me. That's good, sir. Wow. We put God in a box, <laughs> amen, and God said, you got the folks magnifying the gift of uh, Christ, and you can't even receive gift without Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on, sir. Mm -hmm. so, Come on now, bro. So we got to understand that what you have is free, but you got, you got these Doctrines out here saying, brother, unless you do this, you're not saved. Wow. Somebody help me. Come on, meet it Mark. I'm going to take my time with this. Mark chapter 14. Sixteen. Let's go. Let me find it first. Yeah, Mark chapter sixteen. <clears throat> Are you there? Say amen. Amen. And he, in verse fifteen, Jesus is speaking, and he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and do what? To every creature. And he that what? <coughs> and is baptized shall be what? Amen. But he that believeth not shall be what? Amen. He that believe and is baptized shall be saved. Now, baptism comes after believing. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Are y'all with me? Yep, yep. Baptism, see, you gotta be careful because there's too many. I'm trying to give you some truth. Amen. Because you got too many lies out there saying, brother, unless you do this, you got to be baptized this way. And somebody help me. He said, if you believe and baptize, you're what? Saved. But he that believeth not is what? Damn. Uh, can I, let me qualify what I'm saying. We're going to be all over the place. Is that okay? Because we're going to come back there. But go with me to the book of Acts. Book of Acts, come with me to Acts chapter 9, I want to say. Nine or eight. Let me see. Eight. Acts chapter 8. Will you there say amen? Amen. So he said, those that believe, do you stay, stay right there in Mark? Yeah, stay where we use that just said. Mark 16 and 15. And keep going to the next. He that believe and is baptized is what? But he that believeth not shall be what? Damn. Now you notice he didn't include baptism with that. No. Are y'all with me? He said he that believeth not is what? Damned. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. Mm -hmm. You gotta have Christ before anything else comes. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. You got to have Jesus. Jesus did the work. You got to be saved first. Amen. Are y'all with me? Amen. Salvation comes through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And you got folks questioning what, what they have. Is it authentic because of condemnation? Well, y'all better help me Amen. up in this place. They shut up the kingdom of God. People can't enter in the kingdom because of doctrine of men. Right. Y'all better help me. They try to come into the kingdom, Eva. They try to enter into the kingdom. They try to receive the kingdom because the kingdom is in the Holy Ghost. But people are shutting up the kingdom by doctrine. Y'all wow. better help me. Come on, somebody. Because they don't have a revelation.
revelation of scripture, amen, so they just say, hey, you, don't, you can't enter it. They shut it up. Mm, yes, sir. Mm. Ooh, let, me, let me keep going. Is this all right? Amen. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. Watch this. They preach Acts chapter 8, verse 26. Are you there? Yes, sir. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, go toward the south unto the way that go down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And, and he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, Ethiopian eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem for worship. Y'all see this? Yeah. What, and was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Y'all see this? Mm -hmm. The Spirit up said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to this chariot. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. And Philip ran thither and heard him read the prophet Isaiah, and said unto and said, unto, and said Understandest thou what thou readest? Y'all see this? Mm -hmm. He said, How can I accept? Some man should guide me. How shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Right. And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall he preach except he be sent? Y'all better help me. So come on, somebody. So the preacher, you need the preacher to preach the word. Why? Because somebody needs to hear before they can believe. Yeah. How can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe on him in whom they have not heard? Somebody got to preach Jesus. Yeah. 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 Oh, y'all better help me. Come on, somebody. Yeah. You, 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 you don't have to preach. Man, can I go there, y'all? I don't have to preach about baptism. I don't have to preach about... See, I don't get saved by you preaching about baptism. I don't get saved by you preaching about the Holy Ghost. I receive the Holy Ghost after you preach about Jesus. Yes. Woo! What's somebody Yes. Is this all right? Amen. She said, Some man guide me, and he desired Philip, that he would come up and sit with him. Jump down to verse 35. Are you there? Yes, sir. Yes. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture. Y'all see this? To preach unto him who? Jesus. He started preaching what? Jesus. From the same scripture. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Jesus said from the Psalms, the law, and the prophets, he said, man, it's all concerning him. So he started preaching Jesus from Isaiah. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Watch now. And, and, and as they went on their way, there came a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, he, here is water. What doeth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thy heart, y'all see this? Mm -hmm. Thou mayest. What did he say? What hindered me from being baptized? Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. See, baptism has no power without Christ. Right. Yeah. Come on, somebody. He said, if he said been baptized, hold on. You got to believe that Jesus just don't have no power if you don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God and he rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. So he says, if thou believe with all thy heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch. And he baptized him. And when they were come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord called away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more. And he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Azetas, and passing through, he preached in all the cities till he came to Cicero. Y'all see this? Mm -hmm. The preaching is what people believe will cause the people to call on the Lord. Are y'all with me? Yes. Come with me back to Mark. Mark. 
Mark chapter 15, verse 16. Y'all still there? Yes, sir. He that believeth is baptized shall be what? Saved. But he that believeth not shall be what? Damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. He says, in my name they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, they, if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them, they shall lay hands on the sick, they shall what? Recover. See, this is what, these, what, did he say this sign? These. These, these signs. Yeah. Okay. Somebody help me up in here. Oh, we get, we finna hit this thing hard in a minute. Right. These signs, plural, yeah. there are signs that follow a believer. Amen. But we, we got this doctrine focusing on one side. Got God in a box. <coughs> oh man, come on somebody. Yes, sir. That's good. And they put, now you magnify this gift more than Christ. Yes, sir. And we put God in a box, amen, praise God, and say, if you don't have this gift, you don't have the Holy Ghost. Wow. Wow. Oh, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. <laughs> Let's keep going. Go, go with me. He said, these signs, he said, they shall cast out devils, they shall lay hands on the sick, you know, you know and they shall recover, they shall speak with new tongues. I, I, can I just tell on me? Man, when I got taught this, all we focused on was new tongues. Yep. Mm. Amen. So I didn't worry about nothing else. Mm -hmm. Mm. Brother, you see it right here? <laughs> see, what happens with false doctrine, false teaching pulls out what it wants to. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it'll find it, it'll wrongly divide the word and give you what you... Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. If you're really not mm -hmm. searching, because that's what I came out of. There it is, right? And that's how I was teaching it. Mm. There it is, right there. Mm. Come with me to Come with me to Luke 11. Let, let's, 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 see, let's, let's look at this. Is this all right? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11. Let's see. Okay, Luke chapter 11. Let's go to verse 9. Are you there? And I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given to you, given you. Seek, and you shall find, knock, and it shall be what? Open unto you. For every man, one that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be what? Okay. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that that is a father, will he give him a stone? No. Or if he asks a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then being evil, Know how to give good gifts. Somebody say good gifts. Unto yes. uh, your children. How much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that what? Ask. Yes. Yes. All you have to do is ask. ask and it shall be given. You don't have to work for it. You don't need to massage my throat till I... Amen. You turn something free into works. Oh, come on somebody. And tell me I don't have the faith to receive it. Maybe the Holy Ghost don't want to operate in me that way. Oh, that's good. Oh, man, it's a problem. Oh, so, maybe I don't even desire that gift. Oh, let me, let me, let me. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. This, 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 this. He said, all you have to do is what? Ask. Ask and it shall be what? Yes. Give it. Come with me to John chapter 1. I told you we're going to be all over the place. Yeah. John chapter 1. You know, 
know, I, you know, I'm not coming against speaking in tongues, but I want to let you know that God is bigger than tongues. And we need to know what speaking in tongues is for. Come on, somebody. But we also need to know, hey, prophecy is greater. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody. We need to know that they, if you, we well, don't let me just keep going because I want you to see this. The Holy Ghost, all you got to do is what? Ask. Ask. We got to get God out the box, man. God, stop confining God. Somebody help me. Amen. Get him out the box. Yes, sir. And let God be God. Yes, Come on, somebody. Amen. You need every gift. If all of us spoke in tongues, then where's prophecy at? Where's helps? Where's governments? Where... Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. Amen. If we all, somebody help me. If all of us were thumbs. Yes. Yeah. It's good. But we want the body to operate with power. Somebody help me up in here. Amen. Watch this. John chapter 1. We all love this. Start at verse 1. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Y'all see this? Yes. Jump down to 10. He was in the world, and the world was made what? By him. And the world what? Yeah. He came unto his own, and his own what? But as many received him, to them gave what? He power. power to become the sons of God, even them that believe on his name. So them that call, watch this, he gave them power, but as many as received him. How do you receive him? By hearing about him. Yes, sir. And how do you call on him? By believing. How do you believe? By hearing. And you hear, believe, receive. Amen. Are y'all with me? Amen. So when you receive, what do you receive? Power. Yes. Oh, come on. Y'all better help me. Come on, somebody. Yes. Now I got to go to my life. Come on. Go to, uh, go to um, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I told you we're going to be everywhere. 2 <laughs> Corinthians chapter 5. See, I ain't going to skip nothing. I'm, not, I'm just going to show you truth. Somebody help me. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to overlook anything. I'm, I'm, I'm with the help of the Holy Spirit. Now see, he, he said, but as many as received him, to them he gave them what? Power. Jesus said, tarry in Jerusalem till you be endued with what? Power. Come on, somebody. And the power is, but what he tell me next? But you shall receive what? Power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Don't tell me I don't have power because I don't do what you do. Because as many as received him, he gave them what? Power. Yes. And people said, man, you ain't got the power because you don't do this. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's good, sir. And what is it? False doctrine. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't tell me I don't have the power because I don't have the gift you got. Well, maybe I'm a toe and you a finger. Come on now. Oh, come on. Yes, sir. Did you ever stop to think about that? Wow. Huh? And, and when people, when Paul was talking, Corinthians chapter 14, he said, if all, if the whole house come together speaking in tongues, won't they say that you are mad? In other words, uh, everybody's a toe. That's deformity. Yes, sir. Wow, that's good. Man, I, <laughs> this ain't popular. It'll get me thrown out of a lot of churches. But guess what? It's, it's right. Right there. It's right. It's right. Because you got folks, the kingdom being shut up to them because they don't do what I do. And he got the same power I got. Matter of fact, he can dream and I can't. Come on, somebody. He can interpret dreams and I don't know how to interpret them. He may can prophesy and I don't prophesy. He may got the gift of healing and not me. Come on, somebody. Y'all better help me up in here. Yes, sir. And we focus on everybody in the church speaking in tongues and powerless. Yeah. Come on, son. Wow. That's good. That's why nobody get healed. Because everybody wants to speak in tongues. Amen. What about asking God for the gift of healing? Yes. Yes. Somebody yes. Somebody. Yes. But we think we're mature because we do.
doing something we really unlearned, Paul said. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. God, God can operate in order. Yes, he can. He's more powerful in order. A, a, a appearance of power is different from real power. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, you yeah. He gave them power. Many as received him mm -hmm. gave them power. Watch this. Can I help you? Oh, yes. Come on now. At uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. I'm just getting cranked up because it's all right. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 5 and 17. Now, here's, here's the thing. When you come to the Lord, therefore, what it say? If any man be in what? Christ. He is a what? All what? All things. Behold what? All things. A new creature. When I got saved, I didn't speak in tongues. I just knew I was saved because I knew I received the Holy Spirit. Man, and my life was changed. I was not the same. Y'all better help me up in here. I was. I didn't do what I do. I immediately. Repent. Yes. Yes. Godly sorrow work in what? Repentance. Godly sorrow work in what? Repentance. What leads to godly sorrow is the goodness of God. The goodness of God leads to repentance. The good what's the goodness of God? The cross of Christ. When you preach the good news, it leads to godly sorrow. Well, who convicts you? Jesus said, when the Holy Spirit comes, he will convict the world of sin by the preaching of the word. Yes, 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 so when the Holy Ghost convicts, you repent. Yep. Amen. Godly sorrow calls you to repent and turn and receive power. Yes, and then because you cannot walk. Come on now. Go ahead, yes, sir. Hold on. Y'all going to keep y'all pulling it out of me. Amen. Y'all pulling it out of me. Amen. Is this all right, though? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Is this helping anybody? Amen. Yes, Amen. Second Peter. Watch this. Watch this. Second Peter chapter 1. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have, that have obtained like precious faith, with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According to his divine power have given us all things pertaining unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him and have called us to glory and virtue. Wherefore are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these things, by, by these ye might be partakers of what? The divine, divine nature. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. You have a divine nature. Wow. Yes. When you receive the Holy Spirit, you have a divine what? Nature. nature. Come on, somebody. Wow. Amen. Wow. Come, come, come with me to Job. I'm giving you a quick. Did you say Job? Job. I'm all over. I told you I would be all over the place. That's why I ain't writing nothing down. I ain't writing nothing down. Watch this now. Now, this is what gets me, man. Go ahead, sir. Job chapter 2. Watch this now. And in, in verse 28, are you there? Look what the Lord is saying. And it shall come to pass after I will what? Joel. 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 Joel, okay. Well, Joel, like Noel. Mm -hmm. Joel chapter 2, verse 28. Y'all there? And it shall come to pass after I will pour out my spirit upon what? All and your sons and daughters shall what? Prophesy. Speak in tongues? Prophesy. Speak in tongues. Prophesy. Your old men shall what? Dream and dream. Speak in tongues. Dream and dream. Your young men shall what? See visions. No, that's say speak in tongues. Nope. See visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaiden in those days I will pour out my spirit. Y'all see this? Where is it at? Yeah. He said they're going to prophesy. Amen. Yeah. But we done took that out the way. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to do what? Dream dreams. Yeah. I, I, I'm telling you, D is a powerful dreaming brother. 
Amen. And then he comes and interprets the dream. That's the Holy Ghost. Amen. Oh, y'all, 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 come on, somebody. Have you heard him speak in tongues? Do he got power? Yes, yes he got power. Yes. Oh, y'all, come on, somebody. Yes. Amen. Yes. Can, I, can I share this? No, let me just keep going. Is this all right? Yes, yes sir. This is amazing. Come with me to Acts. The only folks that don't have the Holy Ghost is the folks that ain't heard about it. Mm -hmm. right. Man, I don't have to get because I don't know what y'all. Yeah, I got a little time. Yes, sir. Yeah. Kobe to Acts. Acts chapter. Yeah. 19. Are y'all with me? Yes. Y'all gotta hurry up, Paul. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, <coughs> Paul passing through the upper coast came to Eph Ephesus and finding certain what? Disciple, Disciple means you following somebody. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. He said unto him, Have you what? Received the Holy Ghost. Since you what? Believe. And what did they say? So they, they said unto him, not We have not heard. Of what? We have not so much as heard. And have what you received the Holy Ghost since you've been following Jesus? And Holy okay. Ghost. Wow. Uh, wow. Y'all better help me. Yeah. Well, they followers of Christ. Amen. They just not have, they have not heard about the Holy Ghost. Right. Man, come on, somebody. You can't sit here and tell me somebody that believed that Jesus is the Christ, he's going to leave them powerless? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh, no, sir. No. And I just felt led to go on, on, online and look and ask the question. And just put holy, I put holy, I put tongues. And so many people were asking, do I have the Holy Ghost because I don't speak in tongues? Mm. Wow. Because somebody told me, you, you don't have it. Mm. Mm. Because that is, it said it here, because that's one evidence. Yeah. Come on, sir. The evidence is that I'm a new creature. Right. Oh, y'all better help me. Yeah. Yeah. That's the evidence that I'm a new creature. Now, do, do tongues benefit you? Yeah, it benefits you personally. It edifies you. Mm -hmm. It's a language, a heavenly language that you speak to God. Come on, somebody. I'm not saying you, you don't need it. You, you shouldn't have it. You should desire it. Amen. But if you don't have it, if you don't have it, if, if you say, man, Pastor, I desire to prophesy or well, I desire to do this, then hey. Come on, somebody. Yes. Because in church, you got the greater gift. Mm -hmm. We're going to find that out. That's right. Yes, sir. You have the greater gift if you prophesy. Yes, sir. Wow. Oh, come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, Joe, I will pour my spirit out on all flesh. He didn't say nothing about speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Watch this. Come with me now. First Corinthians. I just ain't got enough time to break all this down. I, this has been a long study. I, I understand this a long time, y'all. So I can't give it all to you tonight, but I'll give it to you as the Holy Ghost leads me. Yeah. Watch this now. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Let's just cut to the chase. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just cut to it, man. Because people leave, the, I don't understand, Elder Jenny, mm -hmm. how people do this and leave this out. Yes, sir. How can you do this after reading this? Come on, yeah. that's right. How can you? Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, I, after, I, after a brother showed me this, man, and I was in church and everybody was standing up to me to talk. I said, man, that's wrong. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Come on, sir. Yes, sir. This ain't right. Mm -hmm. Come on, sir. And people get mad because you, you See, this is what tradition does. People have made tongues a tradition. Yes. Right. And it makes the word of God of no effect. Boy, y'all better help me. Come on. So when you show them 1 Corinthians 14, now you're coming against my doctrine. Right. Mm. Come on, sir. Tell them. Wow. Oh, boy, y'all better help me up here. And God resists the proud and give grace to the humble. You resist this, no more grace. Wow. And Paul's, I don't see how people can overlook this. When Paul straight up came against 
them. In, in 12, he explains about the gifts. In 13, he talks about love. In 14, he said, he shows them how you should operate in the gift. Right, right, right. Love. Yes. Love seeks not her own. And when you got a whole bunch of folks standing up, Come on, speaking in tongues together, mm -hmm. they, 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 they edify themselves. Yes, sir. And love seeks not her own. Right. Right. So you're not operating in love. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to preach this until I leave here. I'm telling you, you folks get mad with me, somebody going to hear this truth. I'm not going to compromise with truth. See, because I came, I'm telling you, I came out of this. And the more you open your Bible, the more truth God revealed. And when I got to 14, I said, what? that's what you need. Me this Amen. 14. Let, let me just watch this. I'm going to show y'all something. Go to 12 right quick. Y'all at 12? Amen. Verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would, I would not have you what? Ignorant. So Paul don't want us to be ignorant <laughs> concerning these things. Right. Now jump down to verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts. That means there are many gifts. Mm -hmm. But the same what? Spirit. Spirit. So there are many gifts, but the same what? Yeah. Stop yeah. focusing oh, on God. one gift. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay. That's why we don't see the miracle. That's why we don't see God move the way He wants to move. Because everybody that magnified tongues above the. Mmm. Locking the spirit. And tongues is the. Oh, we're going to see what? It's the last day. He met you. Watch, watch, let's keep going. In other words, tongues is not even a weightier matter. Mmm. Mm. Watch this now. Watch this. And there are differences of administrations. But the same what? Lord. In other words, there are different services or offices. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. He, and there are diversities of operations, but the same God was working all in what? In all. Oh. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. In other words, that word means that is beneficial to the body. Amen. Amen. So, in other words, the Holy Spirit, manif He's the one manifesting Himself through the people of God. Mm -hmm. Now, watch this. How do the Holy Spirit operate through the people? The scripture says, let me just let me qualify what I'm saying. Yeah. It says, for to one is given by the Spirit, what? The, the word of wisdom. By who? The Holy Spirit. By the Spirit. To another what? The word of knowledge. By the what? Same the same Spirit. Spirit. To another faith, what? Same Spirit. To another gifts of what? Healing. By what? The same Spirit. To another what? To another what? Prophecy. Another what? The Son of the Spirit. Another what? Diverse kinds of tongues. And another what? Interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh one and the self same Spirit, dividing to every man as he determined for his will. Yes. Wow. That's good, sir. Yeah, because yeah, the body becomes oh, one. Yes. Say it again. The body becomes one. Now let me show you something. I'm glad you said that. You read you in there, Julian. Yeah, I'm in there. He he he, he <laughs> according <laughs> to his will. Uh -huh. Are y'all with me? Yeah. Yes. Cool, now watch this now. He says, For as the body is what? One. And it have what? Many yeah. members. Many members. All members of that body being many members are what? One body. So also is Christ. This one word is for by what? One spirit. Are we what? Baptized. In what? In one body. When you are baptized into the body of Christ, you become a member. Yes, sir. Now the Spirit can use you because you are a member. Right. Yes. How he wants to. Of healing, tongues, prophecy. I'll right. use it according. However, it benefits the body. Amen. Okay, jump down to 14. For the body is not one member, but what? Amen. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, 
am I not of the body? Is it therefore not of the body? Are y'all with me? Amen. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. If the whole body were an eye, ah, my, 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 wow. where would the hearing? And how is it that the whole church is doing the same thing? Come on, sir. Wow. That's good. Well, where's the ear? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah, right. That's why God said, he asked me a question. He said, son, I, I said, well, you want me to mess with this? I'm like, it's stone up there. <laughs> God said, well, okay, you say you love my people. Well, what about the unbeliever and the unlearned? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good, sir. Because they're going to say you mad, son. Mm -hmm. Do you really love my people? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, I've been yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And you go up in the church. I'm telling you, man, I'm leaving. You go up in the church and everybody's speaking in tongues. Come on, where's the love at in there? Mm -hmm. That's right. You know who you want to track? A whole bunch of folks that speak in tongues. Like-minded. Uh -huh. Like-minded yeah. people. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and you ain't drawing nobody. Say it again. Selfish folks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Selfish people that stand up because you can and I'm the Rabba Sokoraki Karabos. And you got this unbeliever over here like, what is going on? Mm -hmm. yep. If ain't no interpretation behind your tongues, then you need to Paul said, hold your peace. Right. For the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. But you got folks who I ain't trying to receive that. I'm going somewhere else. Mm. I don't want no truth. I like how we do it. Mm. Mm. Really? So, uh, mm. But I told y'all this is a multicultural. This is a reach. The Jesus said we. God said we reaching the four footed beasts, the creeping things. So everybody can get some of this. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. International Bible. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, God said, if it can't touch, if you only touching a, 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 a certain amount of people, then you need to question what you're preaching. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Right. Yeah. Watch this. Is this all right? Amen. Now watch this now. He says in 27, verse 27. Now ye are the body of what? Christ. And members in what? And God has set some, and now watch this now, in the church, first what? Prophet. Secondarily what? Prophet. Thirdly what? Teacher. It's going in, this is letting us know there's an order here. Right. It's going, it's showing you what's important. Boy, y'all, what's the greatest to the least? Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. He says, the apostles first, secondarily prophets, thirdly what? Teachers. After that, what? Yeah. And look how he's breaking this down in the wall. Then what? Yeah. Then what? Yeah. Government. Yeah. And what's last? The verse of your tongue. It's last, and wow. we magnified above all the rest. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. And how do you know he's going in order? Because he says, first, Firstly, second, secondarily, third, thirdly, thirdly after, yeah. Yeah. come on, after. Then, so he's in order right, right. from the greatest to the least. least. But people just overlook it. I'm telling you, you gotta read this word, man. Right. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> and, and you know what? If God tell me to preach to a whole bunch of folks that do it, I'm gonna preach it. Because somebody gonna get set free. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. You cannot gain say scripture. Amen. Now watch what he says. He said, if the whole body were the eye, he said, where would the hearing? Then he jumps down here to 29. Are all apostles? Y'all answer that for me. No. no. Are all prophets? No. no. Are all teachers? No. no. Are all workers of miracles? No. no. Uh, have all gifts of healing? No. Do all speak with tongues? No. no. Do all interpret? No. no. 
<laughs> oh, that's good. Huh? Amen. Why? Because if all was apostles, then where would the prophet be? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, sir. Right. If all were prophets, then where would the teacher be? Right. If all were workers of miracles, miracles, then where would the gift of healing be? Amen. If all spoke with tongues, come on, somebody. Yeah. You don't have to speak in tongues to interpret. If you speak in tongues, I can interpret. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody help me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Paul said it, wherefore tongues are assigned to them that believe not. What does that say? In the book of Acts. Oh, <laughs> Chapter 2, when they were speaking in tongues, it was a whole bunch of unbelievers hearing their language come out. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Come on, sir. Oh, yeah. huh? That's good, sir. This is good. This is good word. This is good word. This is good word. I mean, y'all, this is good word. He said, but covet earnestly what? The best gifts. And I'll show you what? A more excellent way. There's a more excellent way, Eva? Man, I gotta let y'all go. <laughs> There's a more excellent way. Yes, sir. Though I speak with tongues of men, Paul and Paul is talking about himself. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels that have not what? Cheers. I become a sounding brass and a tingling cymbal. And though I have gifts of what? And understand all what? And all knowledge. And though I have faith so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, I am what? Nothing. And I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, I profited me, it profited me what? Nothing. Charity suffered long and is kind. Charity if you not, charity bolted not itself, it is not what? <laughs> does not be well then watch this now. But does not behave itself unseemly or unruly. Mm. That's good. My my my. Yes, good. Well, I, 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 I know right I will there. get stoned with this one. <laughs> Man, that's good, and sir. Unruly. Yeah. And who? Unseen. Somebody that's mad is unruly. Mm. Come on, Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, sir. Won't they say you are mad? Why? Because you look unruly. A mm. madman talks. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> that's unruly. Yeah. That's good, sir. And when they come and see the whole house doing it, I'm right here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And God, love don't do that. Right. Love don't run for us all. Especially when they seek it. Yeah. Come yes. on now. If you seek it for God and love, and you get ran off, something wrong. Something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Now that word might prick at your heart and run you up out of here. You can understand that. Oh, I need to get out my message. I know the preacher you are. <laughs> That's conviction. Yes, sir. Not condemnation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's I don't want to change. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, it happened to me when I went to a prayer meeting one time. But prayer is prayer. Come on, somebody. We come to pray, we pray. Come on, somebody. But we in a church setting like this. Ah, oh, come on now. Order. Gotta be order. Mm -hmm. But I was with them brothers, and was, them brothers got to pray in their tongues. I, I was just, I just. <laughs> they didn't see me. Deuces. Go on. <laughs> and we call it uh, charismatic churches. You know, high rollers. Holy rollers, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, the most big uh, money. Spirit. Uh -huh. uh, spirit filled. Yeah. And it's spiritually immature. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Let me keep going. Mm -hmm. that, that, that. You're trying to hurt me, boy. Okay, he said, no, watch what he says in 14. I got about two more minutes. Yeah. Two more bishop minutes. Yeah. And I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. You're done. Now, watch what he says in chapter 14. Now he says in, at the end of 13, he says, and now by the faith, hope, and charity. These three, but the greatest of these is what? Charity. And the Bible said without faith, it is impossible to please God. Yes, he that come to God must believe that he is, and he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yes. Come on, you're justified by faith. Come on, yes. but charity is greater. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody. Yes. Now watch what he says. 
follow after charity mm -hmm. and desire what? Spirits and gifts. See, the problem is, see, Paul, Paul says it right here. Covet the best gift, and I will show you a more excellent way. Mm -hmm. It's charity. Stop coveting the gift and follow after charity and then desire the gift. Right. Amen. Amen. Good, Come on, somebody. And so he said, if you follow after charity and desire the gift, you'll operate in love with the gift. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. Mama, mama. Yeah. Good stuff, yes, sir. So he says, follow after charity and desire spiritual gift, but rather that ye what? May prophesy. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto who? Men. But unto who? God. God. And people blow that up. Oh, man, see, see how important that is? <laughs> yeah. You can speak to God without speaking in tongues. Yes, you can. Sure. But in tongue, tongues is a heavenly language. Yes, it is. Ain't nothing wrong with I, I Paul said it. I'm I speak in tongue more than you all. That's what Paul said. Mm -hmm. But when I'm amongst the brethren, I'd rather speak five words with understanding. Right. Come on, yes. sir. Yes. That's good right there. Wow. <laughs> Boy, this is good. This is this is this is some good word here, man. And it's it's tight, but it's right. Yes, it is. Watch what he says. <clears throat> For no man what? Understanding him. How be if he how be in the spirit he speaketh what? Mysteries. But he that prophesied speaketh but to what? Yeah. To men. To what? To edification. And what? And to edification. And what? And comfort. He that speaketh in unknown tongue edify himself. Seeketh his own. Oh. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. He seek his own amongst the people. Wow. Mm. So while I'm going to work, I'm just edifying myself. Right. Why y'all looking at me crazy? <coughs> Come on, somebody. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Wow. Mm. Unless there's an interpreter. Shut your mouth. Oh, this, 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 this. this See, the, the Bible said, I'm, I'm done. You know, we're gonna finish this later. The Bible says, mother looking at me like, keep going. <laughs> the, 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 the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet, Paul said. Yeah. The spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. Don't tell me you can't control yourself. Come on, sir. Right. God ain't con took control of you. Right, right. Woo, that's good. You can control yourself. Mm. Because the spirit of the prophet is subject to you. Yes. Y'all better help me. Yes. Amen. Good, good. I'm trying to help you. Don't tell me all that. I can't. Oh, I can't get out of my soul. I can't. No, you in your flesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. You seeking your own. That's the most in amen. You seeking your own now. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. That's good, sir. Boy. <laughs> Paul said, "Be ye children." Come on, somebody. Don't be ye children in the things of God. Mm -hmm. Come on, sir. In the things of God, be ye men. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on, so and they were acting like children here. Yes. Well, That's good wow. stuff. Mm. Wow. Oh, That's, good. That's good, sir. He said, I would that you all speak with tongues, but rather that but, but rather ye what? Prophesy. For greater is he that prophesy in verse 5 than he that speaketh what? With tongue, except he what? That the church may be what? Edifies. See, Edifies. love do what? Edify. Edifies. Charity edifies. Heals up, amen. Oh man. Wow. That's good, sir. Now, brother, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you except I speak to you either by revelation or knowledge, by prophecy or doctrine? All that brings understanding. And even things without giving sound, whether pipe or harp, except it give a distinction in the sounds, how shall it be known what is piped or harp? Watch this now, watch this. For if the trumpet given a certain sound, what shall prepare himself? Who shall prepare himself to battle? So likewise, except you utter, utter by the tongue words easy to what? Understood. Be understood. How shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak what? Into the air. That boy is good, man. Now watch this. There are, there are. It may be so many kinds of voices in the world. None of them without signification. Therefore, if I know not 
what the meaning of the voice. I shall be unto him that speaketh a what? Barbarian. And he, shall, and he that speaketh shall be what? A barbarian, barbarian unto, unto me. me. Oops. Wow. Woo, that's good, sir. All right. <laughs> Even so ye, for as much as ye are zealous, look at this, mm -hmm. of spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel to edify of the church. Wherefore let him that speaketh of unknown tongue pray that he what? For he that pray in unknown tongue, my, if I pray in unknown tongue, my spirit pray, but my understanding is what? Unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit, I will pray with understanding also. I will sing with the spirit, I will sing with understanding also. Else when thou bless with the spirit, how shall he that occupy the room of, of the unlearned say amen? At the giving of thanks, seeing he understand not what thou sayest. For thou givest thanks well. He not saying you're not giving thanks well, but others are not edified. In other words, you give thanks well, but you're not operating in love. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, that's true. That's good. Oh, this, this, this. I thank God I speak with tongues more than ye all. Yet in church, I had rather speak five words with my understanding that by my voice I might teach others also than 10,000 words of unknown tongue. Now watch this. Brethren, be not ch children in understanding. How be it in malice be ye what? Children. But in understanding be what? Men. He said be children in malice, but in, in understanding be ye. Men. Grow up! Yeah. Yes. Grow up. Yes. Amen. You got folks carrying the titles of bishop need to grow up. Come on, Amen. sir. Because they're doing the same thing that they ain't supposed to be doing. Mm. Mm. Come on, Wait, y'all better. Wow. Somebody better help me up in here. All right, that's all right. It, it, it's tight, but it's right. It's right. Watch this now. 23, and I'm done. If therefore the whole church be come together into one place, and all speak with tongues, and they're come in. Watch this. This is what the Lord asked me. Those that are unlearned and unbelievers. Y'all see this? Mm -hmm. yes. Will they not say that ye are mad? Yes. Wow. This is out of control. Amen. Come on now. Talk about it. That's good, sir. I'm telling you, this is rough. But it's right. Mm -hmm. See, love. We got to operate in love. See, you got too many of these doctrines out here. Magnifying these things, and it's not even of God. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody. Yes. yes Paul said, "If I speak with tongues and have not charity, I'm like a tingling." Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not S E H F. Amen. Not S E H F. Not S E H F. Operating the gifts the way they're supposed to. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's why I love it, the prophetic in this house. Amen. Man, go up and get a word from God. Amen. And I love it when Sister Jessica, man, Mrs. Jessica, Sister Raquel, and them, the elders Bill hit man. And I be watching those sisters speaking and Sister Eva speaking in the sisters' lives, man. And I see them sisters crying. Amen. Amen. That's a word of knowledge or prophecy. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. But let one of them come in there and start speaking in tongues in the ear. You guess how they're going to be looking? You know what they're going to be saying? Lord, hurry and get me away from my Let's do it, sir. <coughs> now, can you receive the gift of tongue? Yeah, all you got to come up here and say, man, I want to receive the gift of tongue. We lay hands on you. It don't take much. You just believe. I, I believe. Because I received. El McGowan came to me and said, man, you want to receive the gift of tongue? I said, yes! Then I Went up there and Willie Gordon laid hands on me and it was on. <laughs> but you gotta have the faith. All you gotta do is ask. Mm -hmm. mm. Amen. Some people don't 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 want that gift. Mm -hmm. Come on, sir. Talk. Brother, some people are brother, I'm very prophet. I'm a dreamer. Mm -hmm. You got people that say I'm a dreamer. Mm -hmm. That's good. Sir. Come on, somebody. And dream. In the book of see. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I am done. I'm done for real. I'm done, y'all. Paul said it as he said, 
Have you received the Holy Ghost as you believe? And they said, We have not so much as heard whether there be a Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Until what then were ye baptized? They said unto him, John, John's baptism. Then said Paul, Verily, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that ye should believe on him which should come after him, that is Christ Jesus. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. Wow. Amen. Wow. That's good, sir. They prophesied too. Come on, somebody. It's just time for us to grow up yes. as a church. Try to mature in the things of God. That's why God said, Peter, kill and eat. Four-footed beasts, creeping things, wild beasts, fowls of the air. I want you to reach everybody. And the only way we can reach everybody is we preach truth. Amen. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give me praise. Thank you.